Hi, I'm happy to welcome you all to the today's English class. And in the today's class, we are going to continue the story which we had stopped in the previous class. In the previous class, we were discussing about the story. It was chapter 8 in our English textbook. The title of the story is Flames in the Forest. And it was written by one of the prominent writers of the world, Ruskin Bond. And I also told you he had got many awards and honors including Savitya Academy Award, Padma Shri and Padma Bhushan. And it is one of his best collections. And in this story, Ruskin Bond, he has given the view of how a boy travelled through the forest fire. You all know what is a forest fire. A forest fire caused by a lightning or from the dry leaves or from rubbing of rocks. Or sometimes it may be caused by humans. And in this story, the main character was Romy. Romy was a high school student and in his village, he had no high school. So he had to move away from his village 7 to 10 miles and for high school. He was away from his village and he was near his friend train. They both were talking. It was evening time. Romy had pills. He had bought some pills for his father because his father was ill. Now there was a smoke very far away from them. They had seen it and train said it was a forest fire and it was well onto the east. Nowhere near the road. It could be dangerous if you travel through this time. But Romy must go to home because he had pills to give to his father. He mounted on his bike and he started his journey to the forest. He pedaled hard and on his way he saw Teju, a village boy. He was from a neighboring village and he asked him to sit back of him. And they were halfway through it and on that way they saw an elephant. An elephant, giant elephant is on the road and it was 40 feet away from them. They had no chance to move away from that elephant. They had no choice and they stopped on the road. Now they were seeing that elephant far away from them. And you know it very well, elephants move in a herd. And there would be a leader. And this time they had a sound from a leader. A trumpeting sound. The leader of the herd made a trumpeting sound. Here, the elephant, giant elephant on the road replied with another trumpeting sound and moved away from the road. The road was clear now and it was them for to go. They were all set to move. They were now riding on the way to cross the jungle. They had to cross the bridge, which was the gap between forest and sugarcane field. Far away from it, Teju had found it. The bridge is on fire. So they cannot take the bridge. What are they going to do? Romy had no idea of it. He hesitated to stop the bicycle. Romy was not ready to stop the bicycle another time. Because the fire, it gets very bigger. He had no other chance but to cross the bridge. So he pedaled harder but was not onto the bridge. He left away from the bridge and made his way into the sand and pebbles and into the river. Teju, Romy and his bicycle were in the water now. Teju was very afraid. Teju started shouting, help, help, I'm drowning. Romy was standing. Because it was not too deep, Teju got Romy's belt and stood up. Romy already had known it very well. Because there is not much water in the river at this time of the year. It might be summer season. So it had very less amount of water. They were standing inside the river. Romy began guiding bicycle across the river. He had one hand on the handlebar and one hand on the seat and he moved the bicycle across the river and then they both had moved out of the river. They were on the grass bank. Romy and Teju, they sat on the grass bank and looking at the forest fire. 
the fire continued to spread through the forest both sides are now fire left side of the road as well as the right side of the road both sides are now on fire they now sat and watching the fire the fire it had grew a way bigger that the sky was a bright red the sky looked bright red and the river reflected the color of the sky the river also reflected the color of the sky it was really an adventurous journey for them a terrible adventurous journey romi he didn't know anything about teju before this journey but now he had known a way better than anyone about teju in this journey he had they both became friends now and because of this journey they thought they had been friends for years that's the happy end of the story finally romi and teju they got out from the fire forest fire romi and teju had no harm from the fire that's the end of our story i hope you had understood it very well thank you for watching this video have a nice day